my book is about writers and their work and working with them. It's an editor's notes on writing and writers, as it says in the subhead. But when, I, when I'm honest about this book, I say that uh, out of a kind of vanity, I wanted to show myself as a writer. And I thought the best way to do that would be to write about the great writers that I edited and what I learned editing them. Not just about writing, but about the writing life. Things like how Jim Salter uh, never talked about being a fighter pilot. But he loved to play touch football and he kept meticulous records of these meaningless football games, these meaningless pickup games, well, which made the games a lot more fun, of course. And how he and Peter Matheson would dive into the freezing surf on the first day of November in Amagansett every year and then have ice martinis on the beach with their wives. <laughs> Stories I haven't wrote about how Jim Harrison used to hang up on me when we were working on the phone over editing moves I had made hang up relentlessly on me, <laughs> but how mostly we talked about what he was going to make for dinner, or he would brag about the last 12-course meal he'd had with Mario Batali, who was a great admirer of his. Working with, I read about working with P.J. O'Rourke, which was like going over anthropology field notes. His reporting was so intricate and, and careful, and Richard Price would riff like Lenny Bruce, when we would pitch, when he was pitching movies or TV shows like we sometimes did together, but in the end, it was all practice for his novels. Uh, Tom McGuane used to call it having a long reach, which in his case meant being nominated for a National Book Award in fiction the same year that he won the team roping at the small rodeo in Gardner, Montana. So the book is full of stories like that, but there are also interstitial chapters that are about the tricks of editing. Editing is about ideas, of course, but it's mechanical as well, and you have to get under the hood, so to speak, if you're making magazines, as we used to say, or websites or swimsuit issues, as I did for 10 years. Um, and, and the things that you learn uh, in those exercises, like if you, can, if you can rewrite headlines on deadline, if you can get good at that, it's, it's a kick like those Looney Tune characters who produce a stick of lit dynamite from behind their back. There's nothing more fun than that. One tool that I used uh, in the book is I left, at the top of each chapter, I left a word count, so you know how many words are in that chapter. Uh, I did this because when I was an editor, I always wanted to know how much I was going to read. This, was allow, this allowed me to judge the pacing of the piece or the lack of pacing, and it helped me evaluate you know, how the piece moved. I'm told by people who have read the book that they like it, that I put those there for their own reasons. But I would uh, add right now that in the spirit of, of uh, transparency, I'm going to speak for probably another 22 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>